Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another series review. This time I will be reviewing the series Franklin. Now Franklin is a series that proves that an animated show does not need to be silly or action packed in order to be good. In order to be good, what it needs is a good story, good characters, and that's exactly what this show has. I recently bought this series on DVD and I sure am happy that I bought it. So the series is basically about childhood. That's what it's mainly about. It's about childhood and how it's like to be a kid. And I have to admit, this series does such a good job explaining how childhood works. Now of course this series does have a lot of anthropomorphic animals. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's basically animals who act like humans. And despite that, most of those animals act exactly like any ordinary human being would. Of course there are a few moments where they act like their species, such as when Franklin gets out of his shell. But other than that, they do for the most part act like humans. It is rare that those animals act like the animals of their species. And what I fucking love about this series, which is something that can't be said about most animated shows, is the fact that this series is very fucking realistic. Yeah, the children in the show focuses on act like ordinary kids. Now I'm going to talk about the characters. The main character of the show is Franklin the Turtle, which ironically is the only character of the entire series series that has a name other than the name of his species. Franklin is a fucking awesome protagonist. He is basically an ordinary kid who does stuff that ordinary kids do. Some of you might find it boring but I personally thought it was very interesting because the fact that he acted like an ordinary kid is exactly what made me relate to him more. Now in every episode something interesting happens to him. He often wants to try out new stuff, he is very curious and he also does stupid things from time to time. Yeah, he has a lot of things about him that makes him a very ordinary kid. And the fact that the stories are written so well is something that made me care about him a lot. Yeah, now his best friend is Bear. I'm gonna have to say, Bear is also a very interesting character as well. He sometimes says that his friend Franklin is funny. And you know what? I agree with him on that. Franklin and Bear do so many things together and I can tell that they truly are fucking great friends. I mean, it's so obvious. Now, of course, Franklin has more friends, but Bear is his best friend, and I can clearly see why. By the way, I do think that all of Franklin's friends are fucking awesome and have great personalities. But the one I cared about the most besides Bear is Snail. Now, Snail is very fucking small, but despite that, he still hangs around with Franklin a lot and Franklin is also more than willing to give him a ride on his shell. There isn't much more I want to say about the other kids in the show. They're just great friends of Franklin and I'm gonna leave it at that. Now Franklin is also very lucky to have a very wise man or a wise turtle for a father. Now Franklin's father name is Mr. Turtle. And he is always willing to give Franklin some advice that could help him later on in life. And you know what? Mr. Turtle is a fucking awesome father. And Franklin often asks him for advice. Which he would gladly do in almost every episode that I've seen so far. Now Mrs. Turtle is of course also a very good parent. But I didn't care about her nearly as much as I cared about Mr. Turtle. Yeah, Mr. Turtle is fucking awesome. And there's also a very good neighbor that lives very close to Franklin. And that is Mr. Mole. Now Mr. Mole is probably the smartest guy 
in this show. Yeah, he is very fucking smart. He is willing to help Franklin and his friends a lot. He has a lot of fucking great stuff and it's just great to hang around with him. Yeah, Mr. Mole truly is fucking awesome. And I wouldn't mind having him as my neighbor. And those are basically all the characters of Franklin that I wanted to talk about. But one last thing to say about this series before I get to my overall thoughts. This show does not fucking sugarcoat anything. In fact, if Franklin does something dumb, he has to face the consequences of his actions. And I am clear that the show doesn't sugarcoat anything. And that's also another thing that makes the show so fucking awesome. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. If you want an animated show about childhood that has great characters, great story and this overall a very interesting show about childhood, I highly fucking recommend the show. In fact, I think that this show is fucking awesome and for that I'm going to give this show two thumbs up. And who knows, I might review one of the episodes of the show one day. Yeah, I might do that because I do think that a lot of the episodes that I've seen so far are worth talking about. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.